In the old days, musicians would have to record their creations through a painstakingly long tape process. But nowadays, everyone just uses a DAW. Both Pro Tools VS Ableton are handy software applications for your computer that allow you to record your guitars, create pieces of music, and manifest musical creations. Two DAW that I use frequently are Pro Tools VS Ableton, but they are very different. Which is better? And is there a particular preference I have as a guitarist? Let's take a look. Main differences between Pro Tools vs Ableton The main differences between Pro Tools vs Ableton are Ableton is a DAW focused heavily on creativity and experimentation, whereas Pro Tools takes a more professional audio engineering approach. Pro Tools is considered a music industry standard within professional studios, whereas Ableton is not at this stage. Ableton includes a native audio programming language named Maxer MSB that allows for bespoke designing of plugins whereas Pro Tools does not have such a feature. The resources included in Pro Tools is focused heavily on recording and production, whereas most of Ableton's 70 GB library consists of MIDI instruments and sample packs. Pro Tools is very expensive, costing $999 or annually for their top-tier Pro Tools Flex, whereas Ableton Live Suite 11 costs just over $1.700. Features Pro Tools and Ableton are both used in professional music situations every day. Yet their more defining features differ greatly from each other. Sure, both the DAW provide the basics to creating computer music, such as recording, using virtual instruments, and other essential functions. Still, each DAW also has its unique workflows according to its audio. Take Ableton. For example, one of the most important things about this software is that it has a session view mode, a user interface for experimenting, creating, and looping musical ideas. This is a concept that could be applicable to any musical idea, but it works particularly well for loop-based EDM. Max MS, up until now, I've been balanced regarding Pro Tools and Ableton, but I actually believe that Ableton stands out from Pro Tools due to Max MSB. Max MSB is an audio programming language that directly links to Ableton's rack, allowing the user to design custom plugins to be used within their musical compositions. Industry standard. Creating your own plugins in Max MSB is great fun, but many people simply want to master a DAW so that they can begin to use it in a professional environment. Music is a thriving industry, and whether you're a guitarist or a sound engineer, there are tons of audio tech jobs out there. Considering the alternatives, you've probably noticed by now that I'm very pro Ableton. It's been my software of choice for years. However, I always consider other DAWs such as Pro Tools and try them out to see if they might be useful. It's always a good idea to consider the alternatives when it comes to DAW. There are so many outside the world of Pro Tools and Ableton, and most of them have free trials. Studio One I briefly tried out Studio One as a young producer, but I wasn't a fan of it. It felt quite clunky and old-fashioned, so I looked elsewhere for a DAW. However, I recently tried out the latest Studio One 5, and the software has improved massively over the years. It's a DAW that is built around professional audio production. Yet it also includes innovative and experimental features that you would expect to find in Ableton. One of my favorite examples of this is Studio One's chord detection feature, detecting chords and suggesting the best chord sequences to follow. FL Studio FL Studio is a DAW that saw enormous popularity in beatmakers, DJs, and hip-hop heads. But I've really enjoyed my experience with inputting my guitar into it. It's set up in a similar way to Ableton facilitating both the traditional linear arrangement approach and the more experimental loop-based approach. The software includes a ton of unique audio production plugins and tools and a huge library of electronic music samples. However, it must be said that if you simply want to record your rock band instead of playing with samples, an FL Studio may not be for you. Logic. I've been a Windows user for the last five years or so, but before that, I was a university student using an Apple MacBook for all my musical creations. I hadn't discovered Ableton yet, and I was using Apple's Logic. This DAW is one of the only things I miss about the Mac OS. Logic is a highly intuitive and accessible piece of music. So there are two main things that I really liked about Logic, with the first being audio editing. Audio editing in both Pro Tools and Ableton can frequently get tedious, but I never had this issue with Logic. It makes it incredibly easy to handle. Secondly, Logic has a compose to video feature which allows you to load a video file and compose through its timeline. It's a fantastic way to work on audio-visual pieces. Ableton and Pro Tools both have this feature, but I don't find it as intuitive as the Logic version. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, 
please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.